This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. Moving left and right. Now you'll just need to get your character moving left and right and changing its animation. Cool. Do this. By the way, if you don't have yours working, your enemies aren't moving, you don't have sprites, you need to go back through the other parts of the lesson. Do this. Inside the move player function. Oh, we have a function. Let me look. Nope, that's draw. Ooh, game background. Oh, enemy. Wow, we have a bunch. Move player. Okay. Use a conditional. And remember, conditional means if. We're going to check a condition, right? If something is happening, if the player is moving. So use conditional detect when the right arrow is pressed. Okay, so if the right arrow is pressed. Let's go to control and grab an if. And it said inside of move player. All right. Now we need to know if the right arrow is pressed. I think in world, play sound, key down to detect when the right arrow is pressed. Okay, so do we want went down? So the second they hit down, they just move forever. I think I want to know if they're holding it. So if the right arrow is currently down, okay, and keep in mind an if statement is only true or false. So I'm asking the computer question here. I'm saying, hey, if is the right key down? And the computer will say, yep, true, if they're holding down the right key. If it is true, we'll run the code in here. If this is false, the computer says, no, they're holding down the space key. They're not touching anything. If this is false, then it does not run the code in here. It just skips over that and keeps going, which it keeps going to the end of the function, and there's nothing here. All right, but, okay, so move the player to the right by three. How do we do that? If the right key is down, so we wouldn't want to use velocity because velocity just keeps going. We could, but another way to do this would be to do sprite dot. We're going to use the counter pattern. So sprite dot x so is equal to player dot x. And that way, only if they're holding down the right key will the player's x value be equal to whatever the old x value is plus three. Right? If they're not holding it down, this code doesn't run. Let me hit reset run. And I'm going to hit right. Ah, okay. I do want to point out too, where is, how is move player running? A function does not run automatically. I'm going to scroll up here. It must be called somewhere. Up oh, and look, here it is. Uh, game background. These are all function calls. Enemies touch cake. Move player. 30 times a second, the draw loop runs and calls that. Test your game. Your character sprite will move left and right when you press. Oh, I need to do the left one now. Easy enough. We have the right. Same idea. Control. You wouldn't want to do an if else, uh, most likely, because, well, if you want them to be able to stop themselves by holding each key down, you could do an if else. I'm just going to do another if. So if, and same deal, I'll head to world here, key down. Okay, so if key down left. Right. And then what do I want to do? I'm going to use that counter pattern again. So I'm going to say if the left key is down, what do I do? Well, I'm going to say, oh, not velocity. I always do that. I'm just going to use sprite.x. And I'll say player.x is equal to player.x minus three. Because to go to the left, right, if you follow my mouse, you take away from x to go left. Now let me test. Left, right, left, right. Your character sprite should now move left and right when you press the left and right arrow keys. Yep. Looks good. Hopefully we fix that animation. All right. Onward.